November's arrival, there's a chill in the air in our country's heartland. After a loss in early October, both Bellini's Cornhuskers are once again on a roll and tied for first in the Big Ten West. Today, they host Purdue, and Daryl Hazel's Boilermakers are a team on the rise with an improved offense led by quarterback Austin Appleby. The Big Ten race heats up on a cold day in Lincoln. Spencer Lindsay will kick it away with a stiff win at his back. The win is a sustained 15 miles an hour, gusts up to 30. And the offensive teams going from left to right. Of course, it will be Purdue first. Have to be very careful. Any throw that's 10 or 15 yards that comes off its spiral is susceptible to be picked off. A very high, very short kick taken by Mostert. He's cut down to the 25-yard line. Akeem Hunt, his running back, moves seven yards deep. They fake it to Hunt. Appleby sets and throws incomplete. Intended for his tight end, Gabe Holmes. He was well covered by Josh Mitchell. They go to the shotgun. Quarterback keeper. And Appleby, instead of taking the hit, gets what he can and goes down. Comes inside, they pick him up, and that pass is tipped at the line and incomplete. Purdue will go three and out on its first possession. Arms spins around right at the right time. Now Thomas Meadows will have to punt into the wind. DeMornay Pearson L only has to back up to his 40. Pressure, and they got it. Nebraska with the punt block. They came after him and they got there. Brandon Riley, a backup wide receiver, came flying in and blocked Thomas Meadows' kick the first block of the season. There was motion from that side, from Riley's side, and if Riley doesn't get that ball, I'm not sure it's not blocked by Kieran Williams either. That was just poor blocking by Purdue, but they had moved a protector over Purdue had moved to protect over from their left Riley side over to the other side Riley and Nebraska doesn't need any help but they get a big break on special teams Tommy Armstrong Jr. gives it to the nation's leading rusher and Abdullah swallowed up near the line of scrimmage he is fakes and keeps throws for the end zone Touchdown! DeMornay Pearson L with a terrific catch on a bullet from Tommy Armstrong. If he's going to throw the ball that well, that accurately, they are going to be very tough to beat. And this is one thing Armstrong has struggled with a little bit is throwing on the run. But DeMornay L just makes a wonderful catch, and that's difficult. The Suns right back over. We saw during warm-up some of the guys fighting with the Sun, but DeMornay L, the true freshman, that this staff is just blown away by. They, they did not expect this young man to be good, this good this fast. Anthony Brown may be a half step away, but pretty good coverage. A great throw and a great catch, and Nebraska takes virtually no time, a minute 35, to take a 7-0 first quarter lead. Well, Pearson L knows a thing or two about special teams. He was a young man who brought that punt back 62 yards against Michigan State, which started the 19 to nothing run in the fourth quarter that uh, had the Cornhuskers almost knock off the Spartans a few weeks ago. Hunt and Mostert deep again. This kick wind driven into the end zone. Mostert. And the track star swallowed up at the 20 yard line. And for their leading receiver, 33 in motion. Hunt picks his way through the Nebraska defense, gets a couple. Janine, they've got five wide receivers here, only a four-man rush by Nebraska, and they throw to the tailback, Akeem Hunt. They think they can have some success getting the ball quickly to the outside, but Nebraska can put on pressure and with a four down lineman. They don't need blitzes and they can drop seven guys into cover. This is the best that uh, John Papuchis in his third year as defensive coordinator, seventh with 
Bo Pelini here. This is the best they felt about their front, but a nice third and manageable here. This could be a rundown because of Appleby's athleticism. Throws to slant. Could have been caught, not held by Dan Monteroso. And again, three and out. And that last punt, it looked like it took forever to get it off. It sure did. And Meadows has had a spectacular year, but Nebraska obviously identified something on film that if we get a good rush, he might be a little slow to get the foot to the ball. Gets that one out of there a lot faster, and there was more pressure. Big run, Pearson L. Nearly got his second touchdown of the first five minutes. David Yancey, one of the wide receivers, is down there tending to him in midfield. We'll be back after this. BTN Football in 60 is brought to you by Quicken Loans for a mortgage experience that's engineered to amaze. There's Yancey, the backup wide receiver. They were tending to his left foot or left leg and have him on the sideline with the medical staff. I think as Nebraska goes down the stretch, they're going to need some quality wins to move up in the committee's mind, and they'll get them. They have at Wisconsin, Iowa, and uh, Minnesota left on their schedule after Purdue. So they've got some chances to get quality wins, but they need them. Armstrong following Abdullah into the hole. The advantage of playing at home, you could hear it. Tommy Armstrong clapping his hands, telling his center when, when he wants to snap. Can't do that on the road. No. No. Armstrong, good time, throws. I'm not sure either receiver thought the ball was for him. It's a nice job by an outside linebacker on one of the best receivers in Nebraska history. And one of the referees signaled the ball was uncatchable. It just whistled over everybody. Armstrong again trying to scramble. Hit from behind. Needs to get to the six for a first down. They're going to be short. And it's decision time for Bo Pelini. Fourth and a yard. Yeah, I, I like this call. Early in the game, you've got such momentum. And Purdue's got the wind in their face on offense if you don't make it. Bell in motion. They give it to Abdullah. Turns his shoulders and dives inside the five. First and goal, Huskers. And the coaches upstairs will be watching the reaction to that play when they run it later or now. They give it to Abdullah again, straight up the middle. Close to the two. Don't let Purdue get any defensive substitutes in. Abdullah. Purdue. Stands tough in the middle. If you fake it to Abdullah, everyone has to respect it, of course. They give it to him, and he was tripped up. Let's go. Well, inside the one. Fumbled the snap, and they do. Holy cow, what a stand by Purdue. The snap was fumbled. Make. And Nebraska has had some problems with the shotgun snap. This one hits Armstrong right in the hands. He must have taken his eye off on it, off the ball. What a huge break for Purdue. Can't... Hunt trying to wedge out some distance right here. I, I, five or six yards would be a pretty nice gain to get your punter some space. Apple beat a throw. It's a screen to Hunt, and he is blown. Pearson L is only back at the 35 yard line to start punting into this big win. It was a great kick. He takes it at the 35, slips one tackle down to the 32. Considering the windy condition, Thomas Meadows did as about as good as you could. 30. Amani Cross is in as the tailback. They fake it to him. Armstrong with plenty of time for the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Jordan Westerkamp, who leads. Third and seven here for Armstrong. Fumbles the snap, got it back, and the pass is dropped right to Brandon Riley, and he couldn't hold it. So they get down to the six-inch line, fumble a snap, can't score down right. seven-nothing. Now they get a great 
field position and uh, can't convert this by the long field goal. Now Drew Brown will try from 46 with a stiff wind at his back. His season's long as 44, but he's got plenty of leg, but he missed it wide right. So Purdue is dodging a lot of bullets here in the first quarter, but still down 7 nothing. This lead with great field position takes over at its own 29. This is by far the best they've had in this game. Hunt trying to pick his way through that Nebraska defense. Nothing. Anthrop. Fly sweep down the sideline. Couldn't stay in bounds long enough to get the first down. There is a flag down. May have been a hold on the corner. Turned it pretty easily, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Anthrop's a tough guy. Holding. Offense, number 86, 10 yard penalty, second down. It's Gabe Holmes, the tight end, called for the hole, and that wipes out a pretty good run. A lot of motion, a lot of shifting, a lot of formations by Purdue as they try to confuse the defense. Hunt can't get outside. Nobody wearing red is confused. I want to pop, but it's starting to feel like Appleby should keep that more often. Third and 21, empty backfield, four man rush. Decent protection. Nowhere to go. Now he throws underneath and throws behind Monterosso. Incomplete. And uh, Pearson L back. This has not been a good early run for Purdue. Hard to believe they're only down seven. Meadows has had two 31 yard punts and a block. Drives this one into the wind. Pearson L with a late fair catch signal makes it inside the 40. That was a great kick, 42 yards, but there is a flag down back at the 27 yard line. During the kick, holding, receiving team number 35, 10 yard penalty, Nebraska ball, first down. Andy Janovich, haven't been able to say that very often. <laughs> Abdullah trying to stretch. What a great job by the Purdue defense. They just strung that out until Armstrong with time. Throws underneath Kenny Bell. Armstrong was actually throwing it to Bell. Terrell Newby, the new eye back. He's in the ball game, and Armstrong comes out and throws high. Bell went up with one hand, couldn't bring it down. And Bell, That's I, I know well, that he, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what's coming if he catches You'd that You'd still ball. like to see him go up and try to catch that with two hands. Yeah, but they're going to light him up like a Christmas tree. This is a crushed punt with the wind. All the way back inside the 10. Frankie Williams makes the catch and then falls down. Ace. Purdue desperate to do something on offense. Play action fake. Hunt is open. They throw it to him across the 20, 25, 30, and blasted out of bounds near the 35 yard line. Purdue's biggest play of the day. So field position could be critical. Hunt again on the delayed handoff. Gets out to the 40. And the offense has blossomed ever since. Four man rush. Pressure can't get rid of it. Down he goes. The sack for Malik Collins. Number seven, a very unusual number for a defensive tackle, but they love both Collins and Vincent Valentine in the middle. This defensive front, as Collins goes one on one over the right guard, Jordan Roos. And this was a matchup that Purdue knew they weren't going to like. They knew that Collins would be a load in there, especially over that right guard position. A little surprised that you would call a straight drop back there not give any help to the inside when you know you're going to have that matchup problem. Meadows, no rush. Well, the wind just driving it down. And Pearson L is nailed as soon as he touched it. Outstanding kick coverage. Rasheem Mostert. Newbie. Trying to make the corner. He turns, pushed out of bounds. To make it more and more difficult. You should be able to hit a ton of first down passes in this offense. And this time they'll run for the first down with Amani Cross and move the sticks. You know, it's been a while since we have seen Abdullah in the game. I did not see him get hurt. And we'll go check on the Nebraska sidelines as uh, the quarter will flip. Thankfully for the Purdue offense, it'll flip over. And let's see what Nebraska can do into this win. But it'll be interesting to see if Abdullah comes back into the ball game here in the second quarter. We'll be right back with BTN Football in 60 presented by Quicken Loans after these messages. To a mere 
Abdullah is now wearing a brace on his left knee. And this was that fumble down on the goal line. You can see no brace on the left knee now. At the end of the play, it looked like a Purdue defender may have landed a little awkwardly, and he's had on a brace on his left leg since he's been checked out. So he's now got a brace on and has not played since. Good catch by you, Ed. And Amani Cross gets the carry, gets a couple. And we'll check in with Janine. And yes, guys, I was just talking to Nebraska's head athletic trainer, Mark Meyer, who told me that it is Amir Abdullah's left knee right now. He is questionable to return to the game. They're going to hold him out for a while. Well, they're cutting the tape off of his hands, and he's getting some of the, uh, the tape and things cut off his hands. It looks to me like Abdullah's day is done. So this may be a game for... Amani Cross at the I-back spot, and Tommy Armstrong may have to produce more as a running back. And, and that hit. Third and eight here. Blitz coming. Armstrong hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. But that was clearly a miscommunication between the receiver and the quarterback. Now Nebraska kicking into the wind, and that is a shank by Sam Foltz. But on hold. First play with the wind for Purdue after a 16-yard punt into the wind. Appleby wants a screen. Perfectly covered. He throws it into the ground. Smart play by Appleby. And uh, let's just hope for him and the Cornhuskers. It's a minor strain. Appleby. Plenty of time. Rifles one. Anthrop makes the catch near the 30-yard line. Country. Well, you Otherwise, they're up 14-0 likely on that run instead think of what a difference that makes hunt off the right side blockers in front inside the 25 and if this is a serious knee injury what a shame it would be one for nebraska as you pointed out and also for this young man they can't say enough nice things about him appleby floats its sideline end zone incomplete in and out of the hands of Cameron Posey. Byerson Cockrell was with him all the way. Could have been a touchdown. Cockrell, a guy who has really stepped up his game. Nebraska lost Charles Jackson during the preseason to a knee injury at Nickelback. Such a key position. A really nice throw by Appleby. Wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. But that was great defense at the end. Now I think you... And Posey comes off limping, but this is a run, run down. I, to me, this is quarterback on the read zone. Maybe he keeps it this time. Remember, Posey was hurt earlier. Out to answer. Poor pass intercepted, then fumbled, and Purdue got it back. Are you kidding? Monterosso came up with it. If they rule it's a catch, it would be a huge break for Purdue because it's first down from there. And the officials very smartly getting together. It did look to me like Cockrell may have had this. The ball not accurately thrown by Appleby. Went up in the air, landed in the arms of Cockrell, who had made the nice play the ruling before. on the field is that the offense fumbled the ball, recovered by the defense. The defense fumbled the ball, recovered by the offense, first down. Well, the it's offense, backwards. The offense yeah. could not fumble the ball on a pass that hit a defender. Ball goes through the hand. So it's just an interception. And then the recovery there. So uh, Nebraska, while we were away, Nebraska challenged it, used a timeout saying that Cockrell did not catch the ball, so it wasn't a fumble. Earlier, the referee had said it was a fumble on top of a fumble. That was a mistake by him. It was an interception right. followed by a fumble. But it did look to us in review that Cockrell had the ball, was starting to run with it, and Anthrop made just a wonderful hit and dislodged the ball. What a save by 33. It's a huge break for Purdue because it's a first down all over again from the 32. Appleby gives to Hunt. And Hunt dives forward to the 26 game. And this. Appleby looking his way. Throwing incomplete. Excellent coverage by Josh Mitchell on Cameron Posey. Appleby short set quarterback draw. Still on his feet. 10-5. Touchdown Boilermakers. 
What a difference a quarter makes. Elvis may leave the building. A design run, and it was a mistake by the safety, Nate Gary. Gary, you see chasing there, number 25, a guy that the coaches talk about a great feel. He started coming up to come down on a uh, pass responsibility, and Saul Appleby had popped out of the wash late and couldn't recover. But Griggs will try to tie it here. And does. We'll be right back with BTM Football in 60, presented by Quicken Loans, after these messages. What a shame this would be. Kickoff's going to go out of bounds. Big mistake by the Purdue kickoff team. They'll give Nebraska a good field position. But this offense is just limited without number eight. Cross trying to get to the outside. Taken down at the 48-yard line. Jawan Bentley, what speed for a middle linebacker. A big, big kid who can really run. Well, you can see the injury there to Frankie Williams. Just really bad technique. We talk about keeping your head up and your eyes up in this game. And Williams comes up from his safety position and completely ducks his head. He looked a little woozy coming off, going through some conversations. They'll be shocked if we'll see 24 back. Newby off the left side and a saving tackle by Taylor Richards, who's on the field in place of the injured Frankie Williams. Clock running, 9.48 to go first half. Nebraska going into the win. So they're going to want to keep the ball on the ground. Armstrong got a seam. Armstrong inside the 15-yard line. Both pulling. That was a little easy. Cross. Cuts it back, picks up a couple. Boy, after Amir Abdullah had broken the 200-yard barrier, so they carved up the Illini. Flanker sweep, Pearson L. Looked like he was out of bounds at the three. They marked the ball near the two. So a good spot. Cross. Touchdown. That was just power football. Amani Cross with his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Nice push by the left side of that line. Good job by Sam Cotton. And left tackle Alex Lewis. Everybody just going to their right, washing the defense by, but they got a little vertical push, point of attack. And that's an impressive drive. After the all five teams, all top five teams from the SEC play each other before this is over. And I think if Michigan State, Ohio State, or Nebraska wins out and wins the championship, I, I don't see how they get kept out of the playoffs. Mostert runs into traffic as he crosses the 25-yard line, brought down there. They'd all be number one in those <laughs> conferences. Conference USA and USA. <laughs> No, no. Hunt, nice cutback. Looking for blocks. Got one from his quarterback, Appleby, and then drilled out of bounds. Four-man rush. Appleby, flushed. He's smart, too. Let's go to Janine. Well, guys, safety Frankie Williams here, if you can see him with the towel on his head. He is being held out of the game, maybe done for today. I can see him wobbling a little bit there. They are looking at him for a concussion, and he has had one already this year. So uh, it looks like right now they're keeping Frankie Williams out of the game and do, going to do concussion protocol. And Janine, he's got all the signs right now. Third and long. Done a great job against Gregory in protecting Appleby, and this ball's knocked up in the air, intended for Cameron Posey, but three guys around the ball for Nebraska. The first one, the closest one, was Gary. Appleby has been held to four completions and 61 yards. And this punt partially blocked. Got a block. That's right. The first time in this game when Riley... Illegal formation. More than four men in the backfield by the kicking team. The five-yard penalty will be enforced at the succeeding spot. First down, Nebraska. Boy, and, and Nebraska 
Kind of left it, shook that uh, momentum switch off and taken back over. Cross again. They really cleared out the middle for him and crossed down to the 35. And, I and Armstrong checking with his center, Mark Polini. And they'll run Newby off the right side down near the 30 yard line. Ryan Russell makes the tackle. It's Armstrong throws that in the flat, knocked away. And the official now signals that Kenny Bell did not catch it. It was not a fumble. Armstrong on the option. Newby. No, sir. Driven out of bounds. They needed to reach the 25 for a first down. But Russ Armstrong running the option to the other side. Keeps first down and more. Armstrong in the open field. Touchdown. 29 yards. Brown lines up the point after. And knocks it through. So Nebraska with some breathing room here as they've taken a two touchdown lead. He's waiting at his 16 yard line because of that 30 mile an hour win. Nice kick here. Over his head, all the way back to the three. And cut down shy of the 20. Good. Now, if you're Purdue, even though you're backed up, you have the wind at your back for only another 329. You probably need to take advantage. Hunt got a block on the outside, turned the corner, dives up to the 29 yard line. Keontae Green is in at running back. Appleby with a man in his face, Anthrop caught it. What terrific hands by this kid. 29 yard gain, and what a throw by Appleby. Well, Appleby fitted in there with a couple of guys, but got it right over the oh. head. Wow, what a catch of Daniel Davey. What can't, concentration. Can't cover him any better. <laughs> just Hunt. Boy, he's a tough runner. And they're starting to get three, four, five yards every time they run that zone. And the way that the way that Purdue splits you out and motions and makes guys overshift on defense. Those three and four yard runs is Hunt now. Well, this would be tough for Purdue. We've all already seen Amir Abdullah go down for Nebraska. Yeah. Looks like Hunt's going to be mm. okay. Well, and this is this is a concussion protocol. This is part of the protocol, so there is a concern about something to his head. It looked to me like it was a hit on the knee, but this is something to check motor skills. Appleby with a deep drop and rifles one for the end zone. Intercepted. Picked off by Nate Gary, his fourth interception of the season. And he looked like a wide receiver running the post on that play. It was intended for D'Angelo Yancey, but tremendous coverage. Boy, that was good coverage. Still over a minute and a half left. And Armstrong does make the throw anyhow. Pearson L. Oh, what a courageous call, and he was wide open. But just a little surprised that uh, no timeout used here to force Nebraska to punt. I'm just not sure why you wouldn't use one of your two timeouts if you were Purdue. Just eating up the clock. Little shovel pass to Newby. And he's brought down with 21 seconds to go in the half. There's with 21 seconds to go. Good kick this time. A low bullet. And he puts it out of bounds to the 16 yard line with only 14 ticks left on the clock. For that play. Well, now what do you do? Mr. Patrick, you got a first down. You run it again. Yeah. <laughs> Appleby will go short, and that'll do it. As he hit Cameron Posey on a little short crossing route. We'll be right back with BTM Football in 60, presented by Quicken Loans, after these messages. BTN Football in 60 is brought to you by Quicken Loans. 
for a mortgage experience that's engineered to amaze. One game when Abdullah was out there with the wind in their face like it is now. Terrell Newby starts the second half as the Nebraska eyeback. And as you heard Bo Bellini say, leaving the field, he doesn't think Abdullah is going to play in the second half. He went off after they put a brace on the left knee. Then they took him to the sideline again and wrapped it. And he went to the locker room early. Armstrong with the keep, and he's got the first down. And we check he says they're going to try to run the ball more on the outside. Well, they're going to have to generate something. Armstrong hit as he throws, and the catch made by Westerkamp. Nice job as he went right down to the turf and picked it off the surface. So this is it. They need stops, and they need points, and they've got to get them in the third quarter. Armstrong over the middle, and he completes this one to Western Camp, and it's going to be another first down. These are solid throws by Tommy. Newby back in as the running back. Armstrong had a tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Feichter. And Feichter out near the 15. What a big play for the Purdue defense. It and now Purdue with an opportunity. They'll go with the wind. Hunt. Across the 15 to the 16. What happened on the interception? One of the things that is so hard about these new offenses is how many play fakes you have to do. Watch Armstrong struggle getting this ball back into a grip to throw it. That allows Herman to gather his feet. And the whole time, Feichter, the safety, was reading the quarterback's eyes. I'm not sure if that ball was thrown cleanly if Feichter wouldn't have made a play on it as well. But when you go to make that play fake, it was not a clean fake, and that extra beat cost Armstrong at least the tip and definitely the interception. Appleby with a play fake. He'll keep it. And slides in safely after he gets the first down at the 25-yard line. Nebraska continues to use a four-man line, drops seven into coverage. Hunt drilled as he got the ball. Josh Mitchell nailed him. There is a flag down on the play back near the quarterback where he threw it. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Offense number 70. Half the distance to the goal. Second down. Jordan Roos called for the penalty and that's huge. Big, big blown call against Purdue. That was a legal block. That was not hands to the face. He had a hold of the jersey. Boy, that's a big miss. Appleby trying to get some of that yardage back. Mm. Throws complete to Hunt, but he's taken out immediately by Gary. And in the official's defense, it looked like it because the hands were up and it dragged the jersey up close to the face mask. Looked like he had it. And you're allowed to grab as long as the your hands are within the framework of the body of the defender. Yep. But you can see his hands get in on that jersey. It starts to pull away. And as he goes up to the face, he gets called for illegal hands. What a huge penalty against Purdue. It's not reviewable, by the way. Yeah, good point. Four-man rush. Appleby has it tipped and incomplete. Pressure came as the front four, led by McMullen and Valentine, got right in his grill. If you can do that with four guys, it makes your defense so much easier to run. And here's a poor kick with the win. Rushed and goes out of bounds. And a bad kick by Meadows, only 25 yards. Amani Cross will start this series as the eye back. He'll get a couple. And now he's in the locker room with a knee injury. Cross again. Second effort. Very close to a first down. If they mark it on the yard line, he's got it. Seven with the win. Purdue's going to be facing this win in the fourth quarter. He'll throw out in the flat here, and they've got it complete for another first down to Westerkamp and Westerkamp. Nice block by Brandon Riley, number 87. When you watch the Nebraska receivers, you are struck by how good and physical they are out in the open field. What an unbelievable job by... 
Well, good job, I should say, by Riley on Leroy Clark there. But this group is as good at downfield blockers as you'll ever see. Western Camp has three catches all in this quarter. Cross. Got to the outside, dives to the five. And you asked at the top, do they have to have it to hang for four quarters? And the answer is not if they continue to allow Nebraska to run the ball like this. They'll be totally tucking. Cross. About the two and a half yard line. Jelani Phillips made the tackle. Third and goal. Cross offsets. Bad snap. Cross dives. No signal yet. And they'll mark it shy of the goal line, but that ill will be a first down. <laughs> These snaps are just an adventure. Aren't they? Boy, that was awfully close. It did look like he was down, but here they go with a snap instead of a under center snap. And they're going to review to see if uh, Cross was in. After further review, the play stands as called on the field. First and goal. Yep. Uh, Armstrong shows center. taking the snap under center. Does. Keeps. Second effort lunged. No call yet. And a high one. He bobbled it. And he's not going to get to the goal line. They have to go under center this close. It's a little unfair. I've played center. And you're asking a, a freshman, or excuse me, a junior in Ren Reeves who hasn't played much to fire off the ball while also being accurate with his shotgun snap. It's really tough to do. It, the ball comes back harder because you're firing off. You're going to block, so you throw the ball harder. If it's off target just a little bit, you can see the quarterback has a hard time. And here on third and goal, I would rather have Armstrong under center and just run straight ahead out of this eye formation. They'll give it to Cross, and Cross is in. Took him three shots from an inch away, but they got there. Seven. And that's why they're called I-backs here at Nebraska, because of that eye formation Even though they don't run the eye formation very <laughs> often anymore, I think that might have been the first we've seen all day. Yep. Whatever they call them, they run hard and they run a long way. It's 28-7 Huskers. We'll be right back with BTN Football in 60, presented by Quicken Loans, after these messages. Said like a true salesman. <laughs> Raheem Mostert is deep. Trying to find a chance to use his speed. Can't get outside. Drag down shy of the 30-yard line. Wow. At Colorado, the wide receivers and quarterbacks coach, and that's when he made the switch. Apple beat a hunt trying to get him out in space. Blocking. And boy, if you get a knockdown as a wide receiver, that's a heck of a block. Mostert. Well, the big one is that point of attack, which is when the ball comes to your side, your guy doesn't make the tackle. Right. And that's what we Kenny Bell certainly hasn't had a big day catching the ball, but still got a big smile on his face. Still two yards shy of breaking Johnny Rogers' receiving yards record. Wow. We'll check that's not a guy who couldn't play last week, so for the Mountaineers, big play, getting him back. Appleby, he'll keep it himself and very close to the sticks. Dragged out of bounds at the 46 yard line, and the 46 was the yard line he needed to make. Just outside the top 10 for sacks all time at Nebraska. And that's in a season and a half. Yes. I mean, this is a guy, Gregory, who came in last year from junior college, just a junior. We'll see what type of choice he's going to make afterwards, but after this season, about the next level or not. This is a front seven that. When we did the uh, bowl game last year, the Gator Bowl against uh, Georgia and talking to Bo Pelini, he said this is the best front since Indomit and Sue's front in 2009. So, that was pretty good. Yeah, he felt like they could do some different things this year on defense and showing that they can. I know Purdue can't just throw caution to the wind, but they are really squandering the wind advantage in this quarter by not throwing the ball more. Now Appleby. Will fire to the sideline, down to the 20. Another terrific catch by Danny Anthrop. You gotta love this kid. 21 yards on the catch. I, I hear what you're saying about throwing it, but I, I feel like Purdue is so in their system that they just kind of want to stay true to it, even though they're down 21. But I'm starting to think this way. I'd just throw it to this guy. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, he he had a catch earlier that the coverage couldn't have get be got better. It was 
tipped on the way through. Just throw it in his area. He's liable to catch it. And that looked like a catch. The ball moved a touch. I'm surprised they're not going to review this. It was close. I think it was a catch, but a little surprised they're not reviewing it. Hunt drilled at the line of scrimmage. Maybe got a half a yard. And let's go to Janine. Guys, I was just talking to Nebraska's athletic trainer, Mark Meyer, who told me that Amir Abdullah had an MRI at halftime. He has what they're describing as a mild MCL sprain. Now, next week, they have a bye, so they're off. He said they're cautiously optimistic that he'll be ready to play in two weeks, but he does have a mild MCL sprain, and Meyer looked at me and said, I would consider the report optimistic. A mild sprain is about as good a news as you could possibly get on any knee injury. Especially after the bye with Wisconsin, Iowa, and Minnesota yes. down the stretch. Appleby for the end zone and considerable <laughs> overthrow to D'Angelo Yancey and outside of Anthrop. Got to think four downs here, down 21, so don't need it all necessarily. And only 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Appleby throws underneath Anthrop. They're going to say he went out of bounds sideways, so they're not going to stop the clock for it. And that's a big play because the quarter's going to run out. And now they're going to have to do the rest of this into the win. Yeah, and if you if you're going to kick a field goal, boy, that sure does change things. If if I don't think you should think field goal here, but if you were, you may have thought about a timeout there to kick it. We'll be right back with BTN Football in 60, presented by Quicken Loans after these messages. Huge play here for Purdue. Fourth down, down 21. This is a must to at least keep the drive alive, if not get a score. Blitz coming. Appleby throws on the run. For the first time that I can remember, Ed, they brought pressure to force Appleby to get rid of it. And Appleby found the man he wanted, Dan Monterosa. And Monterosa cannot come up with the play. A wonderful job making a play, so an interesting day for Cooper. Newby hesitates in the backfield, picks up a yard, maybe two. Taylor Richards came firing in from the strong safety. They are starting to develop top end defensive backs year in and year out. Armstrong third and eight flushed. Throws on the run incomplete. Anthrop is deep all the way back at his 31. So he's anticipating a kick of over 50 yards. He's not going to get it high and short. Anthrop at the 40. Got a block. Gets to the edge across midfield. To the Nebraska 35. The ball comes out, but it looked like he was down. 26-yard return mm -hmm. after a 41-yard punt, and he was yeah. down. And he hurt himself when he planted his leg. I, 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 you see that often. You know, uh, Bo Jackson many years ago, when he went down, it yeah. was because his foot planted in the ground funny right there. And it doesn't look like much, but you could see that knee kind of tweak to the inside. And uh, unfortunately for Anthrop, that's, it's a non-contact injury. You see those quite often, that much force. What a bummer for Purdue. This is, and a bummer for that young man. Let's hope he's okay. Absolutely. Mostert dragging a tackler with him, picks up three or four. Mostert and Hunt in there together. And Akeem Hunt will get the carry. He will not get the first down. They'll be about two yards shy. Nope. Hunt trying to get to the outside. Can he turn the corner? He does. What a run for a first down. Oh, that's right Hunt on the toss. He wants to throw. Hit. Gets away somehow. And now he'll run it. Third and 13. Fake the draw. For the end zone, touchdown. Wide open, Cameron Posey, and Appleby found him. And uh, all of a sudden, Purdue down two scores. Briggs for the point after to cut the lead to 14. And only five countries <laughs> producing it. At the <laughs> well, there were only five countries. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Nebraska will go back to work on offense after a nice kick return out to the 40 yard line by Terrell or Terrell Newby they put ice on his knee he couldn't get off the bench without help he's now in the locker room having diagnostics Armstrong throws picked by Fighter. holy cow Liar. Appleby trying to make something happen throws underneath to his tight end Justin Sins and off who was hurt earlier and Anthrop hurt in this game Hunt's open in the flat. They get it to him. Nice cut. Dives forward. Only gets two, maybe. Appleby sidearms it. Tipped it incomplete. It'll be interesting to see how far down the committee drops those great teams after each loss. And something that I've noticed going through airports and hotels and just how much that ranking is degraded by that. But if it was right now, obviously, teams from the Big Ten, the Pac-10, and the Big 12 aren't going now. So well, Miles Norwood is back to take the punt. Big kick with the win in and out of the end zone. A 60-yard boot. Did not even make the trip one of their top receivers, so very limited. Hunt... who was slammed to the turf by Zaire Anderson at the end of that play. To get to a bowl game. They don't win here. Appleby trying to keep the drive alive. Throws for Hunt, who takes a shot. From well, but with the clock not running, pardon me there. Fourth down, got to go. Appleby throws Ooh. through the hands of his tight end, Justin Sins. Or excuse me, that's Gabe Holmes. That's a ball he's got to catch. 230 pound Imani Cross is the eye back, and they drop the snap from center. Uh, and the ball, the ball came out late, and it looked to me like the ruling on the field is that the fumble was recovered by Nebraska. And Armstrong to throw, pump fake, throw sideline, almost intercepted again, and people will ask the question one more time: Why? Yes, yes, quarterback sneak. <laughs> I think he would have been cheered for that call. I think so, too. Yeah. Just have him run to the licorice store where there's 160 different kinds of licorice from 12 countries. And speaking of recruiting, Purdue's going to have to go find a couple of guys who have some speed who can get open on the outside. And Sins keeps his catch streak alive. That's his 21st game in a row with at least one catch. Purdue offensive line. Just as I say that, the ball gets out to Hunt. Somehow, Appleby got it out there. Fourth and a mile. Appleby guns it short and incomplete intended for Holmes. They'll turn it over on downs with 2.06 left. Nebraska takes over. Newby, touchdown. But Newby gets his fourth rushing touchdown. Two minutes left. Nebraska on top by 21. Purdue will get the ball back. Mostert on the return. This is actually a good quality win for Nebraska. It, it, people right. will look at Purdue and not know how good they really are. Appleby, nice pass and a nice catch up near midfield for Apple Sins. Great, so they, they need these wins against quality opponents in conference down the stretch. Appleby rifles this one. Here comes a blitz. And down goes Appleby. They don't do it often, but it's efficient when they do. Josh Mitchell comes. Minnesota's going to be the wild card, I think. Mm -hmm. Weird loss for them last week, though, against Wasn't Illinois. It? Yeah, Place in college football than it was back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s for Nebraska. Blitz Way coming better. again. Appleby on the throw incomplete, and Purdue will turn it over to Nebraska on downs. Out of here, but that was a, that, that quarter, that second quarter without Amir Abdullah was the key here. 
Yeah, I mean, losing the nation's leading rusher and your Heisman tro Trophy candidate uh, puts a big chunk out of your offense. Nebraska generated only 297 yards today, well below what you expect from them. But they did come up with 35 points, and in the end, that's all that really counts.